Hello and welcome to this demo of the Sandstalker class uh, and this is the game Tomb 4, it's a roguelike What I did in this uh, in this class is try to create a number of tactical skills in the tactical combat tree uh, The first skill is mobile combat and there are uh, five different talents that you learn. You learn a talent each time you put a point in it. And then there are also five disabling strikes. Strikes. I need uh, two more skills to add to this tree. I had a number of IDs but uh, I haven't uh, added any yet. Th the current system already has a number of problems. First of all, uh, these are already ten skills so that's that's actually a bit too much just because it takes too much uh, place so I might have to rework it a little bit so that there are you know cut out the unnecessary skills so that there are actually less skills but I'm just gonna show you how it is right now so the first one is move and it allows you to move up to three tiles in any direction and the skill currently doesn't consume a turn uh, in the future for balancing this will obviously have to uh, consume a turn. The second one is charge. Uh, it's based on the code of rush so you just charge and attack an enemy but there is no dazing effect or anything. It's also used for mobility. Uh, th then there is a retreat and go around. I will show go around first. Basically the skills allows you to switch places with another target and you also gain a, a small evasion bonus allowing you to reposition yourself and then there is retreat which basically just uh, you attack something and then you knock yourself back so those are all the mobility talents so I, I can move again uh, these will probably also share a cooldown at some point in the future although it will that would reduce your tactical options move is also currently bugged because it allows you to move through walls and that should obviously not work um, then there are the disabling strikes these are just simple basic attacks that also apply a condition like disarming or confusing they share a cooldown of 5 turns, so if I use Confusing Strike, then Dazing Strike, Disarming Strike, Blinding Strike and Silencing Strike will all go on cooldown. So I will uh, blind the Goal King and you will notice that these all have a cooldown now. Then there are a number of Sand Skills. Um, these are the so-called magical or more magical attacks uh, they use um, equilibrium so not magic they're based off on willpower the first one is sand burst this basically knocks back and blinds and possibly stuns your targets so this is basically your uh, get away knock everybody back and then get away or buy yourself some time it's also useful for repositioning then you have a uh, area of effect day skill which is sleeping sands is quite powerful but it it has a, a projectile so there is a small delay and you can also daze yourself so you have to make sure that you don't hit yourself with it so I only managed to daze one creature the Gold King is still blinded because of my disabling strike I used on him. So I will show Sand Burst. It knocks them back and they also uh, gain stunned, but they resisted the blind because they are uh, undead. Kind of strange that the Gold doesn't uh, is blinded, but anyway. Um, then there is a um, shielding sand, it's, it's not ready yet, but it's right now it's a simple sustain that provides uh, c certain benefits. Then earth to dust is a digging skill, but it's also not really 
uh, working as it should. I mean, uh, right now it's it's just not not functional, but it allows you to dig. And then there is cloud of sand. Now cloud of sand should be kind of the trademark skill of the class because it allows you to cover the area in s in a thick cloud of sand, and then you can uh, move through it and see through it, and the enemy should not be able to uh, see very far through it but um, the problem is that the artificial intelligence intelligence once it has you targeted it can find you even if there is a at least that's what I think that that happens is that they they can still find you because they have you as a target even though they can't see you and as you can see there is also improved sensing that allows you to see through walls you can see terrain and creatures in a radius of four up to four um, so there is a synergy between cloud of sand and improved sensing allowing you to block the vision of, of your enemies while you yourself ideally should still be able to see a bit through the smoke but uh, yeah it's not really working exactly as it uh, should so let's charge the goal switch places with him and then uh, let's see what happens if we try to uh, retreat and yeah uh, anyway basically those are all the oh yeah there is one more until on death trap the idea was that you would create an area spell that actually pulls everybody including you to the center of uh, as long as they are within the area now I didn't really manage to do that so ideally this should last three turns and each turn everybody should get pulled to the center so uh, yeah that's the basic uh, those are the skills